Okay guys, so normally um, I could pop the lid off little perfume bottles with a knife and then bend it back on with some pliers. But unfortunately this one is little and I got a little rough with it and broke it. But we're going to save it. I've washed it out with warm water and soap, rinsed it out real good. Um, and now, I don't know if you can see, there's some incense smoke in there. We're giving it, uh, we gave it a physical wash, now we're giving it a spiritual cleanse because Blue actually found this on the side of the street. And when you've got things that don't belong to you that are just thrown away, it's all fine and dandy, but you never know what kind of energy might linger on with that. So Blue, let's demonstrate to everyone how we did this. Um, why don't you go ahead and get the incense. Oh, say hi first. Hi. <laughs> this is Blue, my oldest, by the way, if you don't know. Okay, so what we do is stick the incense inside the bottle, put a little smoke in there, okay, pull it out, and then just give it some time, it'll slowly come out. Yep, and you can cleanse the outside, don't burn yourself, kids, don't do this without your parents' help. Okay, put the incense back. And once all that uh, smoke is clear, then it will be officially ready to go. Okay, so Blue has this rose here, and um, she's just getting the petals off because you can see they were starting to wilt and die. And uh, we're gonna save the clippings for later, but we're gonna use the petals to make some rose perfume. Okay, now this rose has already been washed. Whatever um, rose you use, you'll wanna use organic and uh, pesticide free, you know, all of that. And then make sure you wash your rose off. We will dry up the clippings and save them for later and then we're gonna make rose water in order to get to our rose perfume. Also here, uh, we have this collection of wildflowers, weeds, medicinal plants that are local here in Oklahoma and that's a separate video, but um, Blue has requested that we use some Indian paintbrushes in her perfume as well. So we're gonna pull some of those aside. So, we're going to do this the easy, quick way. You can boil water on your stove top, or you can pop it in the microwave. Honestly, I don't think it matters. Um, if you are that slow and easy type, maybe you might do it on the stove, but we like quick and easy sometimes, right? Yeah. All right. So, first you're going to put all your petals into your cup, or bowl, or pot, or tea kettle, whatever you're using here. <laughs> and then you're going to just cover the top of those petals with some water. So, if you'll get a bottle of water blue. Okay. You want to use spring water, filtered water, something like that. I wouldn't necessarily recommend tap water, but it is okay. Just, I would say, if you're going to do tap water, to boil it first. So just cover them. And you can add a little more than that, blue, just a little bit. Because it is going to dehydrate a bit in the microwave. Um, and we're going to cover it paper towel just so that it doesn't overflow and keep as much of that moisture in there as possible and so when you're boiling your petals on the stove you might use a lid and then we're just gonna pop that in the microwave all right so you really just want to bring it to a boil we're gonna try three minutes first and then you want to keep warming it up or keep boiling it until the petals are very pale like it looks like you've gotten all the color out of your petals after three minutes, let's check. All right, I don't know if, let's see if you can tell these petals have faded now. Blue, you wanna grab us a spoon so we can pull one out and show everybody what it looks like? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so. See how the petals are so low. Focus. Sorry, guys. It's steamed up my camera. Okay, there we go. See how it's nice and pale? I mean, the spoon is just too shiny. There we go. So that petal is nice and pale. It used to be red. That means your water is ready. 
It smells so good. Ow. Yeah, careful. Hot. <laughs> it's too hot. Okay, so we're going to use the same paper towels to strain this water. Okay, move your hand, please. Side. Those will get thrown away. Oh look! Oh, it just changed. Just look, it's one two three five, but it was just one two three four. I wanted to show you guys. I moved too slow. Sorry about that. Oh, blue says there's still some more. There you go. Every last drop in there. Okay. All right. This is still hot. Be careful at home. Make sure it's cooled down enough for you. We're gonna wring out the rest. And if you want to, guys, because um, I don't like letting things go to waste, since we have this paper towel with our rose water and Indian paintbrushes water infused, you can actually, blue, if you'll open that and tear it in half. Set it on your face, on your eyes, like a little mini sheet mask, or you can just dab it on your face, and it's like a little refresher and toner. Let's see what you think. <laughs> I think it worked. <laughs> Her true beauty type. <laughs> So there's our beautiful flower water. So if you want to know how to make any rose water, or really any flower water, that's pretty simple. That's how you do it. But um, the next step to make perfume, it's just as easy. You just have to add alcohol. And so I happen to have a bottle of alcohol, y'all. Setting aside. This is 70% alcohol. Um, I know stores are kind of like sold out of this stuff. I just happened to find this in the dollar section at Fire Lake. It was the last bottle. So of course I snatched it up because we are going to be making another batch of our homemade hand sanitizers. So keep an eye out for that video. That will be next probably. <laughs> Blue just had another idea suggestion for a video. We'll do that later. Um, but yeah, so Blue has a dip video coming out. Keep an eye out for that. Um, and so we'll have a hand sanitizer video coming up as well. Lots of ideas. Ooh. Um, okay, so now we're just gonna put a splash of alcohol in there. I really don't know the recommendation on this. Um, it's not an exact measurement of water, so why use an exact measurement of alcohol? You want to put enough in there, you're going to slightly smell the alcohol because it has to be enough to preserve it. That's the point in adding it. Um, but, you know, you don't want it to be overbearing. So I, I would just say add a splash until your nose and, you know, your ancestors or spirit guides, whoever says, okay, hun, that's enough. All right, so I'm gonna swirl it around. That's, that's plenty, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Drop my water bottle. All right. That's pretty much it. Now we're just gonna put it in the bottle. So here, Blue, hold this. You can talk to them for a minute. It's on. Like I mentioned before, I did break it. Um, so I'm gonna handle it until it's sealed and safe for Blue to touch. She's clapping for me. She's like, yay, good job, mommy. <laughs> um, 
Did you get us the funnel? Should be up there. Watch the candle. Move my candle out of here. Break it. Everybody like my new candle? I got that at Fire Lake too, the candle. Not the wine bottle, it's had that. Um, it's a cute little candle holder on our table. Okay, can you hold, or I'll, I'll hold you pour. Okay. Or, yeah. Do you, you got, okay, we'll both hold. Just don't burn us. And wait, nice and slow. Going, we're making a mess. Okay, that's good, that's good, let go. All right, yay! Okay, so you do have some left over, so we'll have to put that in another bottle somewhere. Um, now that we've got it in the glass bottle, now that looks like the hot glue gun is ready. See, it's stripped on the table. That's how I know it's ready. I don't know about you, but that's how I look at it. So let's move our bottle over here. Blue, would you? Sorry about my fingers there. But <laughs> I'm not a professional cameraman. Okay. Blue, what's that? That's fun. And that spider web off of there. So no, still... Alright. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna go around the edge with the hot glue, like so. And we're just gonna stick her in there. Ooh, easy enough. Yep, we're gonna go around the outside also. And then, um, And Blue's gonna be extra careful with this bottle because she knows that the hot glue can still pop off. Mm -hmm. we're, gonna, we're really gonna layer this. And because this one's broken, we probably won't be able to reuse it once this perfume is gone. She'll have to throw it away. But the next bottle we have, we find that we don't have to seal with hot glue, she'll get to reuse it. Oh, oh look, we got a bubble there, that's pretty. Sweet little bubble. Okay, so um, this is an old empty bottle that I had. Hydrating facial mist, um, which I highly recommend you guys if you like to go out to the store and buy that sort of thing, I love it. Um, but I kept the bottle and we just filled the rest of Blue's perfume in here. So this is gonna be, you know, everybody can use this, but this one is Blue's own personal glass bottle and the glue has hardened and cooled down, so. There we go, it works, yay! Here you go, Blue. It smells a little like the old was in here. That's alright. That's because we washed it out. Well, we washed it out, so. Okay, here you see our beautiful baby girl, Blue. Um, sealed a leaf from her rose trimmings onto her bottle and uh, preserved it in hot glue. It's a cute little cover. And that's the end of our video. Bye.